So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P1DD2 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is the Dodge P1DD2 code? Well, it's a torque request signal from TCM denied. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles have computers that's controlling all the engine functions along with when to shift. And many computers use all this information to adjust the torque that's going to the tires, depending if the vehicle goes to shift, if it's at a standstill and needs to take off, if it's going up a hill, things along those lines, the computer can adjust the torque that's needed that's going to the tires. But when you get this P1DD2 code, the transmission control module is requesting that the main computer, the PCM or the ECM, needs to adjust this torque calculations so that it can send a signal to the transmission to shift correctly. But for some reason, there's some kind of issue going on with this. The main computer is not responding the way it should be. So it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so the way this P1DD2 code is set is that the TCM, the transmission control module, is sending a signal to the main computer and is telling it that it needs to adjust the torque so that it can send a signal to the transmission to go ahead and shift when it needs to. The transmission control module is waiting for the signal. Either the torque gets adjusted so that it can send a signal to the transmission or the main computer sends it a signal and says, go ahead. But for some reason, the main computer has denied its request or it's just not responding at all for some reason. And so at that point, there's going to be an error and this P1DD2 code is going to be set. And so one thing to note about this code is that it can be caused by many different things. For example, for the main computer to adjust the torque, it needs to have all the right inputs coming in. It needs inputs from different sensors, like the mass airflow sensor, the crankshaft position sensor. It needs all this information coming in. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to adjust the torque. So if you're getting any other codes for like a sensor, like a mass airflow sensor or something like that, be sure to pay attention to that. Because if the main computer can't get the right information, then that could trigger different things that could lead to this P1. P1DD2 code. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what are some possible causes of a P1DD2 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is one or more of the computers, there might be some kind of software mismatch going on, or there might be some kind of update they might need. For example, if the transmission control module was recently changed out, and now you're getting this code, then very likely there's some kind of mismatch going on and the software needs to be updated. The next thing that could cause is some kind of communication error with the CAN bus. And what's going on with this is that each computer is going to be controlling different things. So for example, the transmission control module, it's going to be controlling all the transmission functions. Then the engine control module, it's going to be controlling all the engine functions. There's going to be wiring that runs around to all the different computers so that they can all talk to each other. And that's basically what's called the CAN bus. You can kind of think of a CAN bus like Ethernet inside of a home, the way all the computers can be wired together, and then they can all talk to each other. And it's the same thing like that. There can be different types of buses. There could be different types of CAN buses. But when you hear that, it's all the wiring that runs around to all the different computers and right where they plug in and how they all talk to each other. So if there is some kind of problem with the CAN bus, this usually means there's some kind of problem with the wiring. There's like an open, a short, there's a bad ground wire running around all the different computers. All the computers need good grounds on them. They also need a good stable power supply or that can throw them off and cause problems. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of problem with the CAN bus. And the next thing that could cause this is some kind of aftermarket product was added to the engine. And this is throwing off the computer and causing issues. So if you have added any kind of aftermarket products, for example, like headers or something along those lines, then keep in mind that can cause problems. The next thing that could cause this code is that the transmission is having some kind of problem. There's like a bad shift solenoid. It's low on transmission fluid, something like that. Usually if that happens, you're going to be getting another code. So if you are getting transmission codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is that the transmission itself is having some kind of problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's a bad computer. There's like a bad powertrain control module, engine control module, transmission control module, body control module, something like that. This isn't too common, but it does happen sometimes. One thing to mention with all these computers is be sure that they got a good stable power supply, which means be sure the battery's good. Be sure all the connections look like they're good. There's no corrosion or anything like this. You could even test the alternator output and be sure that's good. Because if there is any issues with the power supply going to these computers, then that's going to throw them off and just cause problems. So if you do think you have a computer problem, be sure to go and check all that. Because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.